in this video we are going to see how to prepare uh, the training data for multi label classification okay so in multi label classification each image can have multiple labels okay all right so uh, this is what we start with so we have a bunch of images and then uh, we also have the labels file now generally we use a third party tool uh, to annotate the images okay so we have used this tool called make sense to annotate all these images um, i have a i have a separate video series on make sense on annotating images for uh, image classification multi label classification as well as object detection so i provide the link below please watch those uh, videos if you don't know how to create uh, the annotations okay so this is the output from the uh, make sense okay so for each image in the second column we have the uh, annotations okay now uh, so here each image can contain mul a single or multiple annotations okay for example the first image uh, it has both uh, labels banana and apple whereas the second image has only apple right so whereas this image it has all three labels banana orange and apple okay so we are going to use this file uh, to create uh, the ground truth in lst format uh, which will look like this train annotations okay all right this is how it's going to look like so similar to image classification uh, the first column uh, is uh, let's say id and then the last column is the image name now for image classification we would have only one column indicating uh, the class uh, or the label id right so if you have five labels that second column can take values from 0 to 4 uh, that's when we have a single label for each image but now that we have multiple labels for each image uh, we need multiple columns uh, to capture that information right so that's what we have here so this second column uh, it represents if this image has uh, that label or not so zero means uh, this image don't have this label right and also uh, this label uh, so this image contain only this label now uh, from this lst format uh, we wouldn't know what the label name is right because uh, all these lst files they'll contain only information about label ids we typically will create another file called this mapping file so that uh, we can map the label ids uh, to the labels right for example label 0 is apple so what this means is uh, 2 is banana so that means this image contain only a banana right whereas this image it has all three apple orange and banana like that right so we are going to use this uh, this output from uh, make sense to create uh, this lst file okay and also we'll uh, do the train test the usual thing right so this is our uh, input uh, all the images as well as uh, the output from uh, make sense right and we are going to take this as an input and create these four folders with the annotations files as well as this mapping file okay all right so here we are first uh, preparing these four folders uh, multi label yeah so we are creating these four folders and then reading the data uh, or the output from make sense okay so this is what we have so it's a two column file uh, we have uh, the image name in the first column and the second one it looks like a list uh, and it will have the label names okay now this output from make sense it does not have the column headers 
so here we are uh, uh, creating the column headers then we are simply splitting or finding out how many images should be used for training how many for uh, validation okay all right and then so from this one uh, we first want to get rid of uh, this uh, the square brackets right square brackets at the beginning and the, at the uh, at the list now there are multiple ways uh, to achieve uh, achieve this but here i am showing you just one way uh, uh, okay so from this one we have removed uh, the square labels right so all we did is we use the apply function from pandas so we took uh, the row or the cell value one by one and we have selected uh, from we have selected from uh, index one so this is a string right so index zero is the square bracket so we have selected from index one meaning we have excluded the starting square bracket and with minus one that's from the right side we have excluded the right square bracket okay all right so now we have this one now we want to create the mapping file again it is up to us how we want to create mapping whether we want to create a uh, map apple to zero or apple to two it is just up to us but once you fix uh, you should use the same throughout the project okay so these are the la uh, labels we have we have created this label mapping dictionary and written it to the uh, this location okay so we have just created this labels map file all right and then now so we have this class we have the labels map we want to use these two pieces of information to create a list like this okay so for example here this list it contains three elements to indicate if this image contain uh, each of those uh, labels or not right for example it contains this banana and apple okay now here so banana and apple so apple is zero banana is two so it contains the first and third label it does not contain the label in the middle right so that's what the zero indicating so we want to make use of this class information and then the labels map information to derive this column okay that's what we are going to do so here i have defined this function and then for each row or each cell of this value for each of these values we are applying that function okay now the way we are doing first we split uh, we split whatever we have here using the comma so for example this one it split uh, into banana apple as a list okay and then uh, we are simply checking which of these labels exist in this list we uh, we we found okay if it exists we are adding one if it does not exist we are adding zero okay so we are creating this new list with three elements and the values can either be zero or one one if the label exist here zero if the label don't exist okay that's what uh, we are doing with that function by uh, checking if the labels exist uh, or not okay now once we create it uh, it's pretty straightforward right then we can apply this uh, panda series uh, to uh, to split this column into as many columns as uh, the number of elements in this list okay so this column we have split into uh, three columns and the label uh, or the column names should be the labels okay because the because we have used the labels to derive this column right so yeah so uh, again uh, just going back here 
apple and banana 0 1 so we have apple and banana we don't have orange for this image okay now uh, it's easy so we are just uh, shuffling the data or shuffling the rows from the data frame uh, to make sure we have even distribution for the train and validation for uh, the classes and then we are creating the index here uh, using a pandas inbuilt index column okay we have the index and then so from the lst file we know first we should have uh, the id or the index and then we will have the number of columns equal to the number of labels and finally we have uh, the image name right so here what we are doing is we are creating this new list with these elements so the index and in the middle the labels and finally uh, the image name okay so from this data frame which has these additional or multiple columns we are selecting the columns we are interested in those columns and then using the head function of pandas and also the number of train images uh, we have selected so basically we have selected the first n train number of images from this data frame uh, with these columns okay and then we are writing it to a, a lst file uh, again these values should be separated by uh, tab should be separated by tab and there should be no index and also there should not be any header now this index is shown by uh, this ui editor but we don't have uh, the index uh, contained within this file okay all right uh, we have written this file train.lst file in this train annotations folder and then if you look at uh, the top five rows uh, later, right okay so this is what uh, we have uh, exactly what we are expecting okay and similarly we do the same thing for the validation images right and finally we want to copy the folders from this all images folder where we have all the images the train images to train validation images to validation so here what we are doing is we have read the train lst file and we know the last column so from this train uh, data frame this will return us uh, the columns we have and minus one uh, that will give us the last column name or okay the last column so we have selected all the image names as a list and then we are going the images uh, uh, one by one and then using this uh, shuttle function from python to copy the images okay so we are copying from this source location which is this all images ground truth to train images okay because these are train images and similarly we are reading the validation lst file we are finding out the images from the last column and then going over the images copying the images from all images gt file to the uh, validation images so here gt means ground truth so this all images gt folder contain all the images uh, along with their uh, ground truth okay all right so starting with this images and the uh, and the uh, output from make sense we have created these folders uh, prepare the data for multi-label classification using SageMaker. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much.